you do acknowledge Jesus Christ. But when I was reading the Quran this morning, it seemed to be saying there is only one way. Does that make all of the Christians yeah, yeah, correct. wrong? In chapter number 5, verse number 48, God says, To you we send the scripture in truth, confirming the scriptures that came before it. So the Holy Bible or the scripture there? To confirm is, what is, is true. true. Okay. Anything that is not mentioned or contradicting with the Quran is being amended by the hand of the human. You, the, you know that. I know the Bible has been revised with many, many times. Yeah. Why we only say Islam? Because all the prophets before this, their religion is also Islam. Islam means submitting our will to the will of God. This is direct translation. Yes. In John chapter number 5, verse number 30, Jesus said, I do not do what I will, but I do the will of God who has sent me. Which means, he's submitting himself to God. He's a Muslim. All the prophets carry the same message, worship the only one God. In the Bible, God says, Thou should not worship other God than me, or any graven image, for I am the jealousy God. Consistent with the Quran, chapter 448 and 116, God says, I will forgive all your sins, but do not worship other God than me. Consistent with that, eh? which means, it's a Islam. Now, if you look into the Bible, in Matthew, Jesus says that I was not sent except to the Lordship of Israel. Which means he's only sent to a group of nations. Now, Prophet Muhammad has been sent as the last prophet and he has been sent not only to one nation, <coughs> but he has been sent as a mercy to the universe, to everyone. That's why we say the Quran is a universal message to everyone. And the analogy that I want to put to you is that now in Malaysia, we have a new law. Those passengers behind need to put on their seatbelt. If you're not putting that, 300 bucks flying away. Same in Australia. <laughs> Same. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. Okay. <laughs> now, you're being stopped by the police. And because you don't put the seatbelt, and the police say, okay, now I'm going to issue the summons. And he said, hey, I'm following the previous law. What the police will tell you? The new law. Well, well done. Very good analogy. And very well delivered. <laughs> I get the point. Yeah. Yeah. You made your point very yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I mean that God said, follow the last and the final testament because in the previous scriptures, God never says that he will promise this scripture to be protected because he knew, with his all-knowing, he knew that people will go and corrupted the book. But in this book, chapter 15, verse number 9, God said, we have without doubt sent down the message and we will assuredly guide it from corruption. <coughs> Which means, this book is being protected and who is the one who gives guarantee? God himself.